Hey guys, it's Steph, and today we are back in the kitchen. We're gonna be making some yummy recipes that I have found on TikTok. So as you guys might see all the time on TikTok is people are always creating new recipes and like as soon as it goes to trending, everyone tries it and then everyone loves it. And it's crazy stuff like you would never expect to do. Like if you guys maybe saw on my page, I ate pickled garlic soaked in sriracha. Like it's just, there's just been so many interesting combinations. But this video, we're going to be doing all the fun ramen combinations. So ramen noodles, ramen or ramen, I say ramen, ramen. Ramen noodles. I feel like that sounds so weird, <laughs> but literally everyone says it differently I don't know. I've just always said it ramen, but we are gonna be making all these fun recipes and trying them all out and Seeing which one is the best ramen is so simple, but it is so good. I love it Like people will be like oh, it's like a college dorm room food. I Love ramen. I will eat it forever. It is just so good and I feel like everyone has ramen in their pantry because it doesn't really go bad. <laughs> so let's just hop right into the video. Okay, here's the first TikTok we will be watching. This is by Simple Food For You. So cheesy and spicy ramen noodles. So just boil your ramen like you usually would and then in another pan add butter, some heavy cream, some cheese, which looks like she used, wait a second, she used my favorite craft cheese, the plastic cheese. Okay, cool. And sriracha, and that is literally it. Sriracha is also one of my favorites, and if you guys know me, that cheese is literally like a daily snack for me. I'm obsessed with that cheese. It melted though. Everyone says that cheese is like plastic and it doesn't melt. It melted. Okay, let's get to noodles. This is my snack pantry. I like my snacks. Up there's all my noodles. I got these the other day, and I'm so excited to try these. These are the chili flavored noodles. Never had these, but I'm so excited for those. Okay, I'm gonna start boiling our ramen. I got the ingredients out. I feel like everyone has those ingredients. Oh yeah, and heavy cream. If anything, that's maybe one you don't have, but I did go to the store to get that one. Because there was one open already in my fridge, but, oops, don't put those in yet. <laughs> it's not boiling. Um, but I was like, oh, I don't know how old it is. I am so bad at knowing if things are expired or not. Really bad. I found out from my Cane's video that I ate like months old pasta sauce because I thought it like lasted a while when it's in the fridge, but apparently pasta sauce only lasts like a week. So I was eating month old pasta sauce so often. Months old. I had Alfredo and marinara. I had to throw them both away. But yeah, who else is bad at that? Like if there's no mold, then I'm like, okay, I think it's good. I made a TikTok making a sandwich and I used this cheese and there was like comments like, ew, that's the cheese you used to like that ruin the sandwich. I'm like, what? That made the sandwich 10 times better. It's just so good. <laughs> I mean, obviously I like like other cheese too, but I don't know. I just something about that just tastes delicious. Okay, the water is boiling. Okay, butter is melted. Now we are going to add in our heavy cream. Look, guys, I got my nails done finally. Yay! They looked like a wreck for so long. Remember? Oh well. Can't get this thing open. Some heavy cream. And then we are adding two slices of Kraft cheese because that's the cheese she used. Honestly, you could use probably whatever cheese you want, but when I saw this one, I was like, yes, please. Let's see how easy this melts. Oh, wow, yeah, that melted literally so good. It's like, it looks like easy cheese now. The squeezed cheese in a can. <laughs> All right, and last, the sriracha. And mix. Ooh, spicy, cheesy ramen. Maybe a little more sriracha because the heavy cream's in there too. Ooh, yeah. And then we add it to the cheesy sriracha mixture. Okay, let's see how this mixes up. Ooh. <gasps> All right, let's plop it in this bowl. 
We have to try it when it's hot and then at the end we will judge them all together and pick out the favorite. Okay, I added more sriracha on the top because that's how I always eat my mac and cheese. I put a little drizzle on the top too after mixing it in also because I love sriracha. It's so good. Okay, it's time to try it. it tastes like spicy mac and cheese ramen. That's exactly what it tastes like probably because that's how I... And I use the Kraft mac and cheese. Makes sense. The Kraft mac and cheese with a ton of sriracha in it and a little bit more cheese is my favorite. That's like the only way I will eat it. And this tastes just like it now, but like better because I love ramen noodles. Like they're so soft. Love it, love it. This one's amazing. Let's try the next. Okay, time to check out the next recipe. So this one is from The Golden Balance. I think we have gotten recipes from him before. All right, so his recipe is garlic and butter red pepper flakes, heavy whipping cream, and any cheese you would like. And then you get that good mixture. It looks like he used mozzarella. And then you add in the ramen packet. Okay, so this one's spicy too with the red pepper flakes and also has cheese. So we know that's gonna be good. He did not say what ramen flavor he used, so I'm guessing it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna use chicken again. I mean, shoot, if you add butter to like anything, it makes it better. Why is butter so good? Like for what? Okay, since this one has minced garlic in it, my love, I'm curious which one I'm gonna like better because this one has garlic and cheese in it. <clears throat> good thing I have this handy thing because a woman in the house can't open her jars. <sighs> mm. Mmm, it gets me going. It gets me going. Garlic. Sizzle. Ah, should I lick it? Woo! It's like sour, almost like candy. Not bad. I'm gonna put a decent amount in here, and then we can also sprinkle some on top. Okay, next step, some heavy whipping cream. And any cheese you prefer, he says. Ooh, yeah, look at that. So I'm gonna use mozzarella because he used some kind of white cheese also. And I promise this is not expired. Mmm, mm, mozzarella is so satisfying with the cheese pulls. How to take a video for Steph's meals. If you're not following Steph's meals, you should. It is time to try ramen batch number two. Honestly, probably could have put more cheese in there, but we'll see how it tastes. You could always add more on top. Oh, there's the cheese. Kinda got like globbed together. Ooh, there's lots of red pepper flakes in this thing. Mm, the garlic in here is so good. It is really, really good. The other ones definitely taste more cheesy. I do like the first butter. The garlic in here is so good. I forgot to add in the chicken packet. I forgot to add in the chicken packet. Oh shoot, we're putting them back on the stove. Okay, it's okay though. So honestly, good that we tried it like that too if you want it more plain and more healthy because this is kind of where all the sodium's at. Okay, got the chicken packet on here now. I'm gonna add a little bit of this for some liquid. You guys are probably all screaming at your screens. Add in the seasoning. I always, I always forget something. Okay, well here is the taste test again. We'll forget about the first one. And we'll try these ones. Oh yeah. Mmm. So much flavor. I love the chicken packet though. Like that is my favorite. Oh, it's so good with the garlic. Honestly, they were good even before the packet too. Like more simple but garlicky, a little bit spicy, and a little cheesy. But these have like so much more flavor. So yeah, these are good. Okay, water is boiling. Let's check out the next TikTok. Okay, so I've seen this peanut butter ramen noodles all over. And I've actually made it in my mini kitchen that I have. I made a little mini batch of it. But this is ramen noodles with soy sauce, peanut butter, and sriracha in it. Who thought to put peanut butter 
and ramen noodles. Soon I will do a whole video cooking mini foods in the mini kitchen. I just haven't yet and I'll ask you guys on my Instagram like, what mini foods do you want me to make for you? And I'll pretend like I'm like serving you. Okay, drain the ramen. Let's add in some soy sauce. I had to go buy this, I didn't even have soy sauce. And then peanut butter, you guys already know I have it in the squeeze tube. Squeeze the peanut butter. And then some sriracha. This is such an interesting combo. <laughs> it smells like peanut butter. I don't even smell the soy sauce. I don't even smell soy sauce, and I put a lot in there too. Or sriracha, that peanut butter is like overpowering, wow. Well, let's try it. A little bit salty, I think I added too much soy sauce. I definitely did. But you can taste the peanut butter and it's actually so good, why? So weird, who thought of this? Peanut butter and ramen? I do like peanut butter a lot, but to put it in noodles, I would have never thought. Do they have like peanut butter pasta recipes on Pinterest? Hmm, this one's interesting. The color looks like lo mein noodles or something. Okay guys, it is time for one more ramen recipe before I fill up my whole fridge with ramen leftovers. I'm gonna have noodles for days. All right, so here is the creamy ramen noodle hack. You put an egg in a bowl, QP mayo, which I do not have QP mayo. I went and looked at it at Target and I looked at a Korean market and I couldn't find it. I saw it on Amazon, but I'm like, it's kind of a waste for me to buy it and if I never use it. And some of the comments said it doesn't matter, they use regular mayonnaise. So we're gonna use regular mayonnaise. And then you do a clove of garlic and your seasoning for your noodles. You mix it all together and then you boil your noodles and take some of that boiling water and add it to the bowl because there's a raw egg in there. Little, little interesting on that one. And then you add your noodles and there you go. Okay, we have our bowl. I'm cracking my egg in here. This is weird. I would like to just honestly put my egg like on the pan with the noodles for them to cook, but we'll follow the recipe. I guess, if I get salmonella. And then we are just going to do some minced garlic. And then some mayo. <laughs> this is so interesting. And then the packet. Should we use the chili packet or the chicken? I'm kind of thinking of the chili this time to mix it up. So, let's do that. We'll put it in our bowl. Ew. <laughs> this, looks, this looks nasty. Honestly though, I love egg in my ramen. Like there's this ramen place really close to my house. It is so good. So this is like not even mixing. It's like clumpy. Look at this. Ooh. All right, time to add some boiling water. And there's no way to tell if the egg is cooked or not because you can't see it. But I mean, that slime is the egg. So if that doesn't go away, I'm putting it in the hot pan and letting it just cook a little bit because <sighs> that kind of grosses me out. Ramen is done. I drained out the water. And I burned my hand. But let's see if this cooked anymore or if it still looks slimy. We're going to cook it a little bit. <laughs> I was a little too paranoid for that situation to go bad. But I know you can eat raw egg, but I don't want to. Okay, I only let it cook a little bit. Just more for me to feel safer about eating it. She was right when she said creamy, holy creamy, creamy. Really creamy and kind of eggy. Do I taste the mayo? I do. This one out of all of them tastes like one you would get like at a restaurant, that's for sure. Okay, so my favorites were the cheesy sriracha noodles. And then we have the garlic red chili flake mozzarella ramen. I liked that one second. And then I honestly liked the creamy mayo one third. This one's almost tied with the second one because I do really like the flavor of this one. I just can't get like my mind to like not be freaked out. And I kind of changed the recipe because I put it on the stove. And then the peanut butter one would be last um, just because it's just like weird. Doesn't taste bad, and I added a little bit too much soy sauce, but 
I don't know, I like my peanut butter on a sandwich better. <laughs> but if you try any of them, post it on your Instagram story and tag me for a repost. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.